For this project, I'm going to show you how to make your own fire-resistant rocket wadding at home. This specially treated material prevents your parachutes from melting during the ejection charge, which is a must-have if you actually plan on getting your rocket back in one piece. But rather than dropping fistfuls of money on commercial recovery wadding, save your cash and make your own with a pinch of household baking soda. For this project, we're going to need a roll of paper towels, a box of pure baking soda, and a little bit of water. Chances are you already have a box somewhere around the house, and if you look on the side, you'll see that all baking soda is, is sodium bicarbonate. When sodium bicarbonate is heated up, it releases CO2 gas, and you may remember that carbon dioxide puts out fires, which is exactly what we want. Let's get busy making our fire retarding solution by adding one teaspoon of baking soda to a quarter cup of water. Give it a good stir for around 10 to 20 seconds, then just let it sit for a bit until everything settles down. When the water turns clear again, it'll be a super saturated solution and you might see a little white powder at the bottom of the glass. We don't need that, so carefully pour the clear liquid into another bowl slowly enough that it leaves the undissolved powder behind. Now all you need to do is find a single sheet of paper towel and toss it into the bowl for about 30 seconds. Flip it over and double check the liquid soaked all the way through, and if it has, then find a place where you can hang the wet paper towel for a few hours to drip dry, preferably at room temperature or warmer. This amount of solution should be enough to treat two full-size paper towels and will take somewhere between 4 and 24 hours to dry out completely. Now check this out, if your paper towel is two-ply like mine, you can grab one of the corners and pull the two layers apart. Just like that, you've got twice as much wadding with hardly any extra effort. To finish up, simply layer the sheets together and cut them into squares roughly the same size as a square of toilet paper, and that's it. You just made 36 squares of fire-resistant recovery wadding for a few minutes of effort and a pinch of baking soda. The best part is, you can make your batches as big as you want and it'll only cost you a few pennies, which is way better than the price you'll pay at the hobby stores. Now just for fun, I went ahead and bought some commercial wadding as well so we can open the packs up and see how they compare. Commercial rocket wadding kind of looks like flattened rolls of toilet paper, and funny enough, it's even perforated to tear into little squares as well. The packaging says the material protects recovery systems from hot ejection gases, so let's see what they do when we touch them with a flame. Surprisingly, the sheet actually catches fire and burns up in just a few seconds. Let's compare that to the makeshift wadding we just made with baking soda. You can see it scorches the fabric and turns it black as expected, but the tissue doesn't actually catch fire and won't sustain a flame. Instead, it just smolders slowly until all the wadding is spent or until the carbon dioxide chokes out the embers. Now baking soda isn't the only option for rocket wadding, in fact there are all kinds of other fire resistant materials all around you perfect for the job. I just pulled a couple handfuls of cellulose insulation out of the attic of my house and flame testing this material you can see it doesn't catch fire at all, and surprisingly it won't even smolder. Attic insulation is another cheap and easily accessible option and is the same stuff I used for capping the ejection charges of my Screwlock sugar motors in a previous project. Look for how to make those from scratch in another project video. Now just for fun, I got a four pack of toilet paper rolls from the dollar store and placed each one in a container filled with a baking soda solution. A good rule of thumb for mixing your solution is that for every quarter cup of water, add one teaspoon of baking soda. And if you let your toilet paper roll soak for a minute, it'll expand enough that you can reach in and pull out the cardboard tube with hardly any effort at all. Now to make sure the paper soaks up the solution evenly, try putting a lid on your container and flipping the whole thing upside down for about a minute. Save the excess liquid so you can reuse it with your other rolls, then go ahead and lay the sopping wet roll on a plate where it can air dry for a couple of weeks. You could speed the process by putting it in the oven on low heat, but that'll increase your energy costs and might convert it into sodium carbonate, which will make the wadding a little less effective. After about four weeks of patiently waiting, you can see my roll has dried out completely, and if you look closely, you might be able to see how the outer layer is crusted over with baking soda crystals, which isn't really a good thing, but watch this. If we simply peel off the crusty outer layer, we're instantly left with a soft and smooth interior. Impressively, this homemade material looks and feels a lot like the name brand stuff from the hobby store, and even tears into small sheets the exact same way. The difference is, our homemade version seems to be a lot more resistant to open flames, and is only a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the price. Now if you're planning to use homemade recovery wadding for the randomizer rocket made in another video, I recommend using 6 sheets of wadding per launch. Push the first 4 sheets into the rocket body one at a time, then wrap 2 more sheets around the bottom of the parachute bundle and nestle it gently on top of the others. Tuck any of the loose elastic cording into the nose cone, then push it into position on top of the rocket. Your recovery system is now protected and ready to spring into action, so it can safely bring your rocket back for another flight. And by the way, if you want to go green and help minimize your impact on the environment, try using a head of lettuce for parachute wadding instead. The moisture in lettuce leaves make them a surprisingly effective alternative, and the best part is, they're biodegradable. 
Well, now you know how to use ordinary household baking soda to make a bundle of flame-proof recovery wadding that's 300 times cheaper to make yourself. That's it for now. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey guys, that's the end of this video, but it's not the end of the adventure. Click here to see the last project and click here to see the next. I've made over 100 project videos for you to check out and I'm still making new videos every five days. So click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's free, and if you update your YouTube notification settings, you can get an email every time I upload. In the meantime, here are a few other videos I recommend watching. They're all favorites for different reasons and you'll learn something new in every project. Thank you for watching, sharing, and supporting my videos, and I'll see you in the next project video. I'll talk to you then.